so guys welcome in the next video in this video we will be going to learn about how to send notification when someone send a message so let's get started without wasting further time <clears throat> in the last video we have basically set up how to configure FCM with your local push notification in the last video so in this video let's get directly into it so this is the messaging screen uh, if I click on this particular person so I will be directed toward this chat room if I send anything over here emoji text or media so this user need to be notified that a yeah, user is sent you notification about message or something like this so for this purpose we have a stored a user token in the last video uh, let me show you in the firebase I think I have not demonstrated in the last video uh, <coughs> we have created a method inside local notification service which we have basically discussed in the last class in the last video so there I have a method called store token this token is basically storing this particular field FCM token firebase uh, this is I think uh, FCM in Firebase cloud messaging token, right? So this is stored over here now what we have to do we just have to get this particular user this particular token for this user suppose if I write something and click on send button, right? It is basically send it but after sending message I just have to grab the FCM token of this person and call a HTTP method on it let's do it first of all I am in the message means I am on in this screen so I just have to go down okay okay chat screen this is the screen where I will I will be working and you guys can see here I am expecting FCM token so let's go back okay from chat screen okay uh, I'm not sending any FCM token over here. So how we will do that? It's quite of easy Okay, name chat room ID image So this in all information we are getting from this particular uh, data, right? So also we have to create a variable called string uh, FCM token and uh, Make sure to wrap it inside try catch because uh, in our situation user don't have it L let me so show you in this case uh, user don't have FCM token so uh, I will show you a real example after implementation uh, I'm just going to uh, write or let me uh, copy this and paste it again over here and I just have to create string FCM token okay initially it's empty string and over here I have to call FCM token uh, this should be same as your field name from here let me copy so it should not be changed okay and let's change this to FCM token and also FCM token okay that's great uh, now we have to pass this FCM token to the chat that we are already expecting in this screen FCM token this should expect FCM token. Okay Now if I go to the chat screen, uh, let me show you I have click on this person Right, so I have already sent it this FCM token whenever I click on this send button So I have to search for it with the send Okay images slash or assets slash header gallery black I think this is the icon that we are using black sand icon so whenever user click on this button uh, you guys can see we are already sending a message to the firebase so after this we have to call uh, a local notification service dot send notification this method is basically belongs to this class or this file you guys can see I have there a display method which basically display notification 
here we can send notification uh, and also we are storing not, uh, token right so now let's do it uh, if I can show you it basically takes three parameters title message and token so what I have to do I have to first of all pass title new message right and the message actually will be this particular thing okay message and the token that we have widget.fcm token that's it we have to do till here sorry message and for token we have to pass widget.fcm yeah that's it uh, let me let me send it but you guys will see that it will fail because for the current user the username is gk let's check for this user this particular user don't have yeah you guys can see gk Goshok, this don't have fcm token so if i try to send a notification to this user uh, we can expect or it's clear that the user don't have token so he will not get any notification but for demonstration uh, let me connect my another phone uh, using wiser and i will be back and demonstrate to you how it works yeah guys uh, i have basically uh, connected my physical device with it uh, this is my physical device and uh, this is emulator uh, let's check it out so basically uh, my this the user that is logging on here is this person and the user that is logging login on this device is this person so i'm going to send a message from uh, this phone to this let's check it out i'm sending a message from here hi buddy how are you okay so now let's check it out okay Okay, basically message has been sent successfully from here but it is not received over here uh, let's check why not received uh, let's give it another try hi oh yeah guys you can see it basically take a little bit time because of uh, internet connection you can see the message has been printed over here to hi buddy how are you if i click on this it basically landed me on the same screen so that's easy how you guys can implement the notification on message thank you so much guys for watching the video please subscribe if you have not